Army oarsman Stephen Cox says his Olympic ambitions almost came undone due to the coronavirus pandemic. The Lance Corporal is aiming to feature for Zimbabwe at this summer's delayed Tokyo Games. It's been challenging recently uh, with the whole COVID thing. So the initial lockdown was put in place a week before my Olymp final Olympic qualification. Um, and off the back of that, we actually didn't know if the Olympics was happening. Um, so it was four years of really hard graft, hard training, and then all possibly for nothing at the moment. With so much uncertainty, it would have been easy to quit. But news the 2020 Games would be delayed a year, plus the burning desire to become an Olympian, saw the soldier dig deep and carry on. Just remembering the dream, the childhood dream, um, and realizing how lucky I actually am to be in the position I am, to do what I love and get paid by the army. During lockdown, access to training facilities was limited, so the member of 3 Regiment RLC came up with innovative ways to stay in tip-top condition. I literally improvised by throwing tractor tyres, filling bags of sand. Um, the army Bergens were actually really good, uh, filled them with gravel, um, even as much as uh, squatting with my fiancé on my shoulders. Um, just, uh, yeah, whatever it took. Embracing the old school training methods soon began to reap its rewards. I kind of took it week by week. Um, it was paying off because I was seeing personal bests on the rowing machine every month. Uh, I was doing regular testing um, and seeing the seconds come down, I was just like, well, this is working, let me keep at it. Um, and yeah, that, I haven't looked back since. Cox is vying with two others for the spot in the men's single skull. It's arguably the toughest event within any rowing regatta. It's a very gladiatorial boat, um, so we generally race a lot more than the other boats, the bigger boats. It's a much longer race, so uh, it's about a minute longer than almost every other boat, um, giving more chance for lactic acid to build in your body, and it's just, it's a very, very... The winner of the single skull at the Olympics is usually seen as the hardest boy at the event, so <laughs> that gives you some idea of what it's about. Cox will find out if he's last man standing and has been successful in his Olympic quest when he races for selection at the World Cup in Croatia at the end of April. Julian Evans, Forces News, Molsey. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos like this.